Hello, it is that time again. We are back for Fab or Fail. Um, if you're just joining us for the first time, hi, I'm Kelly Kimple. I own a graphic design studio called Hidden Path Creative. And each week I'm dropping into the feed with a packaging design review that I've picked up from out in the market. And at the end, we're gonna rate it Fab or Fail. So, Let's, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started here. We've got a really fun one today. I did, I, I, I am different because you can see that this is not, it's not a serum or a, or any sort of, um, like, product like product that you put on your face this is it's more of an accessory or a tool so this is I do cares rolling with it and as you see it's a little device and it comes in a blue box um, I think the color is really great it's got some great messaging you know I love how the text is designed on the box um, but one of the things I find myself asking right away is what is this product um, I think there's a little statement at the bottom of the box that says that it's an eye roller but it's really kind of difficult to see what that is at first glance um, I want to jump into the next image here we'll come back to this conversation about um, you know, seeing what the image is. But let's see. Okay, so this is the search screen on Amazon. So you can see that I Do Care is using the front of package plus the graphic of the uh, the product itself to show what it is. But I still have this question: What is this product? And if I'm being totally honest. This product looks like it could be, um, it could be for just about anything. And, um, you know, I, knowing that I do care is a skincare brand is helpful. And if somebody, <laughs> I'm getting, I, LOL, that's what I was wondering too in the comments. So yes, I mean, if we're being honest, the product kind of looks like a sex toy. So not adding any context to either the main image on Amazon or to the packaging leaves us kind of wondering that. I don't know, maybe this was their thought that if we make it look like this, it's provocative and you know that's what's gonna draw attention, but that could also be something that turns some people off. Let me, let me pull up something else here. All right, so I'm just gonna zoom in real, real close on what's on that that Amazon main image. So you've got the front of package, I do care. Um, you've got the product name rolling with it or the product call out. And then you've got down at the bottom, really small ice massage roller. And it actually doesn't even tell you what you're using the ice massage roller on. Again, a, a, little, um, a little provocative there. So, you can see clearly kind of what the item is. You can see the outline of the item. You can see that it has a cap really clearly. Okay, that is all great. Um, but let, let's, let's dive a little bit deeper here. So one of the things I wanted to look at with this product is how does it fit in with the rest of the brand? Because I do care has a quite a bit of products and I think that they have I do think that they have a really interesting design aesthetic. They're, they're color coding each of their products. Each product has like a really bright, bold color that they're including on the package. These are three of their other products that I pulled. So you can see that there is um, the Let's Do This sheet, which, which is a sheet mask and does have uh, more of a provocative product name. You've got the foam palms, which you know, everybody kind of knows what a loofah is. So showing the photo of the loofah on front of package and doing a product name like foam palms, which is a little less descriptive 
then Lufa works because they're showing and telling and the product is something that just about everybody is familiar with in the market. And then the other item here is this kind of headband towel thing, which is interesting. Now, when we look at that package, that front of package, um, they've added some context to show you that it's a headband by adding the whiskers and nose. So it's not like they drew somebody's face on there, but they've added enough of those face elements to um, show you, give you the context of what that product is for. That product is to go on your head. And that's one of the things as I was looking at the ice roller, I was like, it just needs the context. Because if I read through the product description, I, I found, as I found, as I read through the product description, that it's a massaging eye roller. So it's something to use on your eyes to, to de-puff. And let's see. So the next example I pulled in here was the do the twist. Again, um, again, I love the package design that they're using. This here, they've included the product image in a way that adds context and shows you how the product is used, even though they haven't added any other elements. So they could have shown this towel flat, but instead what they've done is they've mocked the towel up as you wear it on your head. And for any of us that have to wrap the hair to dry it, we know what that looks like, that you're going to put a towel turban on your head to, to dry your hair. So that's really, um, that becomes really obvious and it adds context for the packaging. So when it comes to the product that we're reviewing here, this rolling with it, I love the design, but I'm missing the context that helps me to understand what it is. And that could have been an illustration that added some of that context. It could have been a little bit more of it in use. I don't think they need to include a photo of a, an eye or a person on the front of the box. And maybe even the actual product name that rolling with it could have been a little different to help customers while they're, you know, scanning that Amazon page, scanning that shelf to understand what the product is. And in all honesty, I think that this, this is just a packaging system gone awry. I think that, you know, they're, they're clearly using the same format across all of the packages and making certain changes. And in this case, the system just needed to be a little more flexible to tell the story of this particular product. And that is why this package is a fail. This item just needed a little bit more context so that we felt comfortable shopping with it and so that we understood what it is. So like I mentioned, this one was a hard one to rate because I love the design, but I just wanted more of that context to sell the product. So thanks for joining in for this uh, fab or fail. Uh, hope you'll join me next week, uh, same time, 11 central time, and we'll go through another package design. And if you have a package you'd like me to review for fab or fail, just hit that link in bio and do the nomination form. Thank you so much.